From time to time, sources close to a cold case will reach out to EOJ to share information that is either new or not previously known to us or the general public. Recently, a source close to the Elizabeth Andes case has outlined some fascinating details that when you hear them for the first time, really begin to paint a different picture of this investigation. This brings us to the update that we have for you today. If you haven't seen our original video covering Beth's case, we will provide a link to that video in the description box below and at the end of this video. Just to give you a brief rundown of the case, Elizabeth Andes was a Miami University graduate who was found bound, stabbed, and strangled in her Oxford, Ohio apartment in 1978. Her boyfriend Robert Young was accused of the murder, but juries in both a state's case and a civil case returned a verdict of not guilty. Decades have now passed, and the justice that many have hoped to gain for Beth has not materialized. There are certain realities in this case that have hindered the process of holding an individual responsible for this crime. These are the following roadblocks in this investigation. In our original video, we reported that all the evidence in Beth's case was lost or destroyed. We have recently learned that Oxford, Ohio PD still retains some of the evidence from the crime scene. The specifics of the remaining evidence could not be disclosed to us, but it could point to another suspect in Beth's murder. Prosecutor John Holcomb and his assistant Michael Moser built a case against Robert Young without ever expanding their investigation into other viable suspects. Moser was also the individual that drove Young out of town for a polygraph. Bob Young was also subjected to hours of grueling interrogation without counsel. When Holcomb died in 2000, Moser became his successor and is now the lead prosecutor for this case. He refuses to hear anything about Beth's case even though Young has been acquitted. Moser is adamant that the juries who acquitted Young got it wrong. His refusal to admit that he and Holcomb may have tried the wrong man could be what keeps this case cold. Moser once stated, My greatest loss? I'm happy to report none. I haven't lost a case since I've been in office, and before I took office, the person that was running against me couldn't find a case that I did lose. So I'm proud of my record. Let's leave it at that. It's also worth mentioning that original prosecutor John Holcomb's son is now a current sitting judge in Butler County. The possibility of tarnishing John Holcomb's legacy, as well as his own, could be what prevents Moser from changing course in this investigation. Amber Hunt, a reporter for the Cincinnati Inquirer, has tried unsuccessfully to speak with Moser since 2015 to discuss Beth's case and ask why investigators' only focus was on Robert Young. You may be asking yourself, why doesn't Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost intervene if there is evidence that points to a different suspect? Well, Oxford PD hasn't released the case to the state. Therefore, Moser's word is final. Yost and BCI can only be sources of aid unless the case is released to the state. And as we've just stated, Moser's belief is that the juries in this case got it wrong, not him or Holcomb. No one in the prosecutor's office wants to touch this case and go against Moser. These are my final thoughts on this update. This case shouldn't be about politics or egos. This case is about a young woman who was bound, strangled, and stabbed multiple times. And the person who did this has not been held accountable. As more information becomes available, or if perhaps the residents of Butler County decide to ask for more transparency in this case, we will continue to keep you updated. Until we see you again with another cold case, please stay well and be safe. This has been Eye on Justice. 
Are you obsessed with true crime content? Subscribe now and join our growing community as we analyze and discuss the details of some truly baffling cold cases. Browse our growing library of cold case investigations and immerse yourself in the mysteries that keep us up at night. Subscribe and join the EOJ community today. All it takes is a click.